pull up here on my laptop, and I'll have Ernie pull it up in just a second. Um, we have got some, some pictures here of our Bronco, and I'm going to show you some pictures of it all done in just a second. But here's what's interesting. Go ahead and pull up the laptop there, Ernie. This is the, the floor of the, our SBL Bronco that we have. And if you, you notice, do you see any, you know, sound application of anything in that? I mean, the only thing I see is this little bit right here. That's it. They're just not putting that in there, and it's because they're trying to reduce the weight. They're even you know, scaling down on copper wire in vehicles because it, just, it adds more weight. So as the guys kept going, you, know, you start with your back door. You know, once again, it's just bare metal, and it, it's fairly flat in spots, and it is going to resonate. It's going to color the sound. And here you can see the guys just getting started on that back door, you know, plugging up some of the metal areas, and eventually they went through and totally sealed that whole area off. And, of course, the view of the inside of the vehicle with everything uh, smeared out really nicely. And that is another question that just popped into my mind. You know, you see the guys that take you know, so much time to you know, basically push every single air bubble out like you would with window tints or, you know, a graphic. How important is that to the application and the performance to have it absolutely bonded, you know, in every square millimeter? You know, it, it, it... Every square millimeter, it would be, it would be telling me it's overkill. But if you got an air bubble, let's say, John, just poke it with a with a razor, the tip of a razor blade, and smooth it out, and you're good. You're good as gold to go. The nice thing about our product is you see how flexible it is. It molds to every single contour of the vehicle. Ultimate performance, especially when you start talking the thermal insulation properties of the material, you really want to make good surface contact with the entire sheet metal surface. If it bridges, let's say over a rib floor, and you just touch the and that's where I was going, rib, it, uh, it you're not going to get as good a performance, and you're going to create channels for water intrusion and other things. Uh, with our product, it bonds so well. Just take a little razor blade and slit, slit the, uh, the air bubble and get the air out of it, and you're good to go. That's what we would recommend. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. And our guys went so far as to take the front fenders off the vehicle, do the backside of the fenders, because, you know, being a, an SPL-type vehicle, I mean, this whole vehicle is going to vibrate. <laughs> it's not just it. what's inside. So, yeah, just I saw it at SEMA last year. It was fabulous. It, it, uh, what a beautiful a beautiful build. Cool. And something else that I know you offer, uh, tell us a little bit about your pre-cut kits, because you do a lot of that, which yeah. is you know, a real bonus for people that, you know, want to just quick, easy peel and stick. You know, John, it, it's uh, for, the, for, the, uh, for the guy that's going to take, you know, um, two years to build a 69 Camaro. We, we have a kit that is designed to treat the entire vehicle. Uh, and then we also broke down that kit into sections. So if they're only doing the floor pan, they can buy the floor pan section. If they're doing the firewall, the firewall, the doors, the roof, the trunk. But we have over 375,000 year making model kits now that we've built that database over, oh my gosh, 28, 29 years. So it's uh it, it grows every year as you can imagine right every time they launch oh, yeah. a new vehicle uh, we've got porsches now we've got european vehicles we've got uh you know everything every f-150 built we've got every pickup built we've got all the muscle car era um and then we've got all the top you know 15 or 20 of the current models uh, uh available as well so um you know, for the for a lot of the car audio space, because they're doing builds every single day, the universal kits make a lot of sense. That bulk pack that you have right there in front of you, Is that, that 58 is 58 square feet? <laughs> 58 square feet. You know, guys, installers can pull sheets out of that. They can do installs by the component. They can do it by the, the section of the car. They can do it. They can organize and price it so many different ways that the bulk pack really gives them a tremendous amount of flexibility. But if they get a unique car, they got a customer coming in that wants to cash and carry, it's pretty highly likely that we've got a kit for that car. 